What's up, everyone? Nathan coming back at you their Monotype Live. Still sunburnt, still in my Brock outfit here. We're going to be building a new Hyper Offense team of our own to use here. We had some awesome fun last time. Uh, we almost beat Rain. I, I will defend that as an almost one game. If we had max speed uh, Diancy, we would have been fine. Although, if you're a max speed Diancy, then ah, we're actually, that, that was last live. That was, that was the past. So, I talked about before how I think Shuckle almost validates uh, Hyper Offense uh, on this team because... It, it works the same as mono bug and that you really want that sticky web support so we're absolutely gonna do that not to mention just on a suicide lead in general it's just very good at what it does and uh you know you can cripple your opponents with encore and knockoff uh you got the stealth rocks you got the sticky webs it's, it's great stuff uh, i'm also almost guaranteed gonna use a tyranitar and an offensive team like this i'm almost guaranteed to use uh terrakion so every everything past that you know open competition uh let's take a look at what we've got in terms of rock types and these two are also very flexible i could do a bulky whatever set on tyranitar i could do bandit which i love uh tyrakion can be a choice scarf it can be whatever it can do all kinds of stuff uh but let's talk about mono rock what options do we have barbacle good setup sweeper stack attacka good excuse me good little cleaner uh like rock dusk hits really fast with web support it's going to be untouchably fast tyrantrum see here's a fun tyrantrum set i don't even i'm just talking about this now we're just we're just rapping here gang choice band tyrantrum is fun in i think nu it was it might be banned now but i just remember when i used to play nu i love this tyrantrum set because you could do this sort of thing with scale shot and so you're almost essentially dragon dancing after a point after one scale shot revenge killing someone you're at plus one speed and plus one attack and with that awesome attack stat you're actually quite fearsome so, I like that. I think Rock's actually not a bad offensive type uh, at all. Uh, but what do I want to do? Let's just decide, as I always say when I'm building Hyper Offense, I want to choose a setup sweeper and then build the rest of my team around that, right? I want to build the support. I want to build, like, what am I breaking? Because, you know, if I need, if I want to make Tyrantar my breaker, for example, I need to make sure that it's breaking things adequately so that my setup sweeper can go off, right? And I need to have a cleaner that can maybe clean things that my setup sweeper might struggle with and stuff like that. So, let's talk first about who i'm using as a setup sweeper uh we really didn't use terrakion at all last time which is unfortunate so maybe that's a good candidate uh and there's not a deep selection of pokemon here if we're being completely honest uh so it's, it's gonna be an easy choice arceaps was always one of my favorite pokemon back in gen 5. i thought you know just when i was playing the game as a casual i thought it was the coolest design ever but of course it famously got done very very dirty by x and y oh still makes me sick to my stomach what are they? Okay, well, I'm not sure about Archeops. I mean, does it get Swords Dance? Nah, nah, we're not doing Archeops. So let's talk about setup sweeper options. So we can do like a Swords Dance Rhyperior with weakness policy. We use that to some good effect. We can do a Dragon Dance Tyran Tyranitar. Uh, we can do a Swords Dance or a Rock Polish or whatever Terrakion. I believe Lycanroc gets Swords Dance. Let's check. Yes, it does. Uh, my favorite and perhaps one of the most uh, effective of all these is uh, Nihiligo, uh with its Meteor Beam set. But we used that plenty last time. It, it was featured in both teams that we used last time, so I don't think that's necessary. Stack Attack can do some stuff, but I'm strongly considering if the Setup Super allows it, using Stack Attack as a, as a cleaner, kind of uh, akin to Reuniclus, where it's so bulky that's guaranteed to get off one Trick Room. And then, like, good luck. We're just, you know, we're hitting you with all these boosted Trick Rooms. We got Body Breast. We got gyro ball we got probably earthquake there to round things out so i like that a lot as an idea and we can even do air balloon if you want to free swap in because i think these teams struggle without an air balloon pokemon so that's very good uh and you know we do whatever sure uh so i like that as a cleaner but we have to again for the fourth time we got to make sure that our setup super is a good match and a good pairing there uh diancy can do stuff tyrantium we talked about can do stuff let's do barbacle Let's do Barbacle. It's very straightforward. It's actually, it's stupid hard, all things considered. Uh, speaking of NU, I've quite enjoyed my uses of this mod, and I'm actually going to steal this set from NU because I'm not sure if it runs Cross Chop or not. Return an Earthquake. This is the wrong generation. Uh, it's an RU now. Good for you, Barbacle. No, it's NUBL. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was an NU at some point. And Monotype, well, I guess that's more effective, isn't it? Eh, Grass Knot. That's crazy. Grass Knot. For those ground types, I would want... No, what would Grass Knot even be for? I can look this up now. This is... We're just going completely off the rails of Showdown Live. Why do we need... Let's Barbacle punish Pokemon such as Gastrodon and Seismitoad. Huh. Eh. 
No, I'll I'll steal this one and use a superpower. Or cross chop. Superpower kind of worries me because this is our main setup sweep. I don't want to be nerfing its attack and defensive process prowess. When I got a cross chop that's nearly as strong, I'll beat it with lower accuracy. Uh yeah, I mean nothing else is jumping out at me here. So okay, let's build around a cross chop barbacle. Down like a clown for that. Pretty slow actually, but again, it'll appreciate the web support for sure. Um so we got that. So who is it gonna fail to break? Well, I'm gonna just do it the old fashioned way. Go to my old team builder here, import this set, and uh, no sets imported. What? Oh, don't do me dirty like this. There we go. Just rage. Rawr! Punch my monitor over showdown not working. Uh, okay, so the most top used Pokemon on the ladder is Dragapult. Can we break you when we're at plus two and plus two? And technically minus one minus one uh yeah stone is breaking just fine thank you and then what about a toxapex toxapex we are doing we're two at koing it's okay uh so let's say they swap in we do 58 percent with stone edge 30 percent, and they can even see us when we swap in and start and go to them raw in the first place so that would really not cover it and yeah let's say they swap in and they haze yeah that's not even doing it that's not ideal. We definitely need something to match with Toxpex. That's not a big surprise. Uh, what else? Volcarona will crush. Aegislash. Let's take a look. Aegislash is really third in usage stats, huh? That's impressive. Uh, Liquidation. Kind of to it, KO. That's fine by me. Uh, Heat Ram. We're breaking. Hydreigon. This is not the right set. Cross Chop. Thank you. Toxapex. That's a concern for sure. Mimikyu. That's fine. Dragonite. It's going to be fine. Lander Staring can be fine. Scizor, Pharaoh, Pharaoh Thorn is a good one. Uh, cross Chop, really O coin. Oh my god, I love you, Tough Claws. Uh, Garchomp, I believe Liquidation will do things to Tough Claws. Yeah, fair enough. With Stealth Rock support, perhaps. 81% chance. I'll take that. Uh, Coco, Pelipper, fine, 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 fine. Celesteela is a great one to check. Celesteela, what are the rolls looking like here? Uh, two at KO, pretty easy. That's fine by me. And Heavy Slam's not even O-Coing us return thanks to our water typing. That's awesome. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Dracovish. Yeah, we'll break. Uh, Rotom Wash is a great one to check too. I'll probably stop after this one here. Rotom Wash, we're essentially O-Coing with uh, Stone Edge there. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is really just tox effects, bulky waters in general. So I want something that can break bulky waters. Uh, Tracheon doesn't love that one. These guys don't have stab EQs. Uh, what if, well, that, welcome to problems with rock types in general. How are we breaking Toxpex with this sorry band of uh, Pokemon here? <laughs> now Lego seems very good. Now Lego seems very, very good. Um, I wonder if you could even do like a choice spec set and make it a breaker, kind of go against the book there. Yeah, if I look at like a, a stab ground mon like Rhyperior, it is not swapping into Scald at all. You know, even if you don't get Scald burnt, it's just a really scary situation. So there's not really not a lot of special attackers too. Rudilly could come in, set up rocks, set up some whatever, but I can't even pivot back out afterwards. That's pretty miserable. Yeah, okay, not seeing a lot here. And then we're already into NFE. It's not even a lot, like quantity-wise, there's not a lot of rock type Pokemon, let alone top tier ones. It's it's rough. It's a hard knock life. Almastar, it's decently hard, actually. Uh, I hate Auroras, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I think it's terrible. Uh, okay. I think it's gonna be Nihiligo. So Nihiligo is one of those things that makes sense to most rock type teams because it's just easy to use, it's versatile and whatever. Well, this is gonna be no exception. I'm just kind of like, I'm scratching my head how to do it with Toxapex. It's gonna be the best answer I got. So. Just what immediately jumps out at me, because I'm not sure if I want to use that classic Meteor Beam set or even a Scarf set. Eh, actually, Scarf does sound tempting. But what if I did a Choice Spec set and we EV'd ourselves to uh, give ourselves a speed boost? We did something like this. So I like that idea a lot. Um, because it's kind of like that Tyrantrum I mentioned earlier, where you already got one boost in the Choice Specs item, but you're also boosting your speed sequentially as you go on it's like a speed moxie which is gonna be awesome for us so i like the idea and it's also a similar case to because the problem with that case would be you know a four move syndrome which moves by click against a whole versatile set of teams but um it's kind of like the case that i brought up with needle king where 
it's mono type. You know, if I'm against mono water, I'm probably clicking grass knot or thunderbolt, maybe grass knot. If I'm against a normal team, I'm probably clicking sludge wave, stuff like that, you know? So I like that idea. Just let's see how much damage we do to tox specs here. Quite a bit. Easy to it KO. We swap into Scald, not bad with our Spadef. And actually, we are going to have quite a bit of freed up uh, EVs from this lower special attack stat. So we're looking at like, yeah, like not very much damage from Scald there. So, okay, let's let's run with it. Might not work, but uh, I like the idea if nothing else. And what do we settle on for the EVs there? Uh, 176 special attack. I'm going to do that right now before I forget about it. 176, and you can be 252 plus. Good speeds here too. That's beating Garchomp. And we're gonna have Grass Knots and Thunderbolts. Actually, Garchomp in general seems kind of annoying for this team. Because uh, you look at it, Power Gem. Uh, resist, resist, immune, not taking too much damage. Garchomp, weirdly, that's 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 this is how that team building works. You know, it's kind of like a chain. Oh, we can't break Tox Specs, we'll use Nihelgo. Oh, Nihelgo can't break Garchomp, we'll do this. Uh, ground type Pokemon are gonna be tricky in general. That's definitely one of our worst matchups. Uh, we are actually not doing bad damage to it KOing with Sludge Wave after Stealth Rocks. Not quite, but we're in that zone. Uh, that's not bad. I'm not so, so worried about it. Rest goes into HP. 80. Yeah, that's awesome. Good HP stat too. That's really exciting actually. Go plus there. So I like, I quite like these two in conjunction already. A breaker to support Barbicle. Uh, I do want something to break these ground types, though. We got Barbicle, who will be great with its uh, with its liquidation. But something like Garchomp does give me a little bit of pause. Even, you know, a lot of dragon types in general seem kind of scary. Let's go back to that Barbicle calc we had earlier. Oops. Let's go back to that Barbicle calc we had earlier and see how it would break your average, like, Latios. Uh, for a plus two attack versus a Latios here. Or even a Latias. Very common on choice, uh, uh, choice scarfed on psychic teams, what I'm struggling to say. Okay, we're still killing with Stone Edge. Man, this thing hits hard. Parbicle without, which is a Focus Sash, not even with a Life Orb. That's really weird. Huh. <laughs> I would not have expected that. Is this an offensive set? It is, but still, that's interesting. Uh, still, I would like something for to help with ground types in general. Uh, Air Balloon Stack Attack as a bit of a cleaner. I think kind of get away with on this team, so we can swap in on a Guard Chomp, for example, with Stack Attack. Uh, Trick Room as they're forced to Scale Shot us per se. And then I hit them with a big fat gyro ball, which is going to do how much? Uh, da, 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 da. Stack attack, uh, trick room, offensive trick room, absolutely. Against a Garchomp. Not Life Orb as much as I would wish to do so. 93. There you go. That's fine by me. That's 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 quite adequate damage. Because uh, it's a cleaner in that rule. It's not meant to be Oko and Mons. It's just coming in and doing the last bit of chip there. So very untraditional so far. Barbacle is not too uncommon as far as set sweepers go on Mono Rock, but a Specs and a a little bit weird. Uh, stack Attack, a Cleaner, definitely a little weird. And then we've got our kind of vanilla picks here to clean things up. Uh, so now we can ask ourselves, I, I said that I think that Tyranitar and Terrakion are kind of chalk at this point. I think we almost certainly need them in some capacity. They're almost too good to pass up. Uh, but now the question becomes one of, you know, I, I didn't mention this, but Terrakion... It's going to help us versus fighting for steel types, for example, right? Rock is really going to struggle with steel types. Not if you've got a Terrakion backing us up here. So knowing that, and knowing actually that Aegislash was a slightly annoying problem, I probably want some sort of EQ variety of Terrakion. We don't have a lot of ground type attackers on this team thus far. Uh, and I will do close combat, of course. And I will do stone edge, of course. The question is, do I do a coverage move here and do a choice locked set? Uh, do I do Terrakion? Do I do Tyranitar in that role instead? I don't need a scarf for this team, especially when I've got a cleaner with Trick Room. I've got a Shuckle with uh, Sturdy here. I don't need with, with the web, sorry. I don't need it. Oh, I'm definitely running this sort of set. But I wonder if I could make this a Scarf Terrakion just as a bit of additional help in the cleaning department. Really unsure. Not to mention there's gonna be not to mention there's gonna be matchups where Stack Attacka is gonna come in earlier than I'd like because it's our air balloon user right now. Like Naz, it's not gonna come in the end game, it's gonna come in the early game, because they'll get in like a Garchomp against us, for example, early on, have no swap. And then they die after getting up the trick room, and then maybe a T-Tar Choice Banded Mon can support that. Yes. I like that. I like that. Let's let's run it. Choice band. I just really like Choice Band T-Tar. I'm I'm a simple man. I'll steal the set from this sample smub team. Uh, copy. And then go back to my team. 
Uh, and how do I, how do I, why, why did I do this? I don't know what I'm doing. How do I, uh, why, why showdown? Why? Well, I guess you can just read what they've got. Stone Edge. Crunch. Earthquake. And Fire Punch, of course. And uh, I'm definitely not going to commit too much to speed here. That seems like a lot of commitment, but it's not so bad. We'll still actually be something of a threat in Trick Room. Although Webs and Trick Room, now that I say it out loud, does seem spectacularly weird. For example, Talk Specs will probably be able to underspeed us at this point. Even a Slow King might be able to underspeed us. Actually, I don't know. It's a stack attack with literally 27 speed. I think we're safe. But the synergy is weird if I'm playing into that. But what the hell? We'll give it a shot. I might... I, I, as per usual, I'm just kind of throwing this out here as a random theory. It's a very good shot that I just run it and I go, okay, that was awful. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. That was terrible. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, or do I want to like a Lumberry? That could be fun. Then it can kind of set up on a, on a Tox Specs if they're trying to Scald Burn me. That's actually a fun idea. I'm down for a Lumberry here. Okay. Why not? Uh, as per usual, I don't think this is a terribly... Uh, OP by any means, but uh, we'll give it a shot. What I'm going to name this team. Uh, rock and Roll is a very bad pun. Uh, Rock'em, Sock'em. Uh, barbacle, talk to him. There we go. That's not bad. So a lot's going to come down to our Barbacle play right now. Uh, not the fastest Pokemon. Mono Rain again. Luckily, I still have my frying pan here. It's actually not a rain team. It's a mono balance one, similar to the one we were using. But uh, it's going to be tough to deal with these two right here. In addition, I don't really see a good Draco fish swap in. <laughs> so I really want webs up. And man time, man, it's going to be really hard to limit. I think I still live a Surging Strikes, actually. It could be Psycho. This is so bad if they just kill me right off the bat. I have no one to go into. Oh, they're going to do it. Oh, I knew it. Because it's multi-hit. Okay, well, this is looking very bad. <laughs> GG, GG to our opponent. Uh, oh man, 322, we're at 335 here. Should thank them for the kind words, I appreciate it. But uh, you've caught me at at a moment of, of, of a struggle here for the iPhones. This is a, this is a, a poor matchup for us. Uh, so definitely banned I think, from that damage. And you're probably dying. You out speed, but you can't really Oko. You're probably dying. You can Oko, but you give them a free swap to their Lantern. I'm going to do this. Go for a Grass Knot. It'll kind of damage the Lantern. It probably won't kill the Urshifu if they stay in. But if they stay in, then I can Revenge Kill with Terrakion. That's my thinking right now. Um, Yeah, Lantern, if this is 40%, I'd be kind of thrilled. 25 off of Specs in the hell ago. That, it's not even AV. Oh. Saucy. Let's go to Rakion. Hope we don't scald turn one. Say Volt Switch. That's a Dracovish. This is going to be a wash of a game. I should have just sacked. Turn one, what I should have done is I should have sacked Hitar or something to the Urshifu and then gone for a Shuckle at a later opportunity. But I just, I thought I, I had a head calc and it was a bad head calc. That's all I can say. No excuse. Um,. Well, speaking of doing that play, it doesn't really matter. It's Mono Water. This is a really, really, really tough matchup at the best of times. I don't mean to be a John, but it's just, it is the nature of the tier here. Uh, now we're going to see, you've definitely got Aqua Jets too. So I don't even want to get you down to your Sash right away. I want to go for your uh, Shell Smash at a different opportunity because you're getting one kill max as long as your Shifu's on the field. So I hate that. <laughs> Stack Attack and Live One? Probably not. Uh, do I have another play? I mean, I got to calculate the Stack Attack. If Stack Attack can somehow pull ahead with a with a dub here that'd be something stack taka offensive trick room versus dracovish i don't know yeah there's no way man i'm forced to do barbacle right now that's unfortunate um yeah no, no two ways about it so on four but we'll get it we'll get a neutral matchup next time we'll bounce back unless i unless they don't have aqua gen their shifu and we just go in the craziest sweep of all time right now Weep starts now. Mantine, okay. Right on. Fair sack for them. Yeah, or Shifu, yeah. We get, we get literally one kill here. And who are we even going to go to afterwards? <laughs> Guess Terrakian and hope for a Stone Edge grit. 
Uh, let's, sure. They go for that. Uh, they lock into Aqua Jet, actually. I think I can live to a stack attack here. Why not? Uh, we'll give it a shot. We got the air balloon up. Afterwards, we probably break some mons. Okay. So Lantern makes an appearance. Resist our gyro ball. Doesn't have levitate. Let's do more between that and body press. Looks like earthquake. I should probably have stone edge on this team. Oh, it's so close. Don't burn. Please don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Don't burn. Yes. <laughs> okay, now I can... I guess EQ. I don't have to overpredict. They don't have a Mantine anymore. Get the defense boost. Makes body press a little bit stronger here. That's exciting. I'm guessing Slow King, I guess. Uh, or Shifu, we handle fine. Uh, I don't know. We, we, could, we could get some, some walls broken right now. The thing is, it's worth noting, is that we need a kill on the Heligo to outspeed Dracovish to win this game. Uh... 38, no, that is miserable damage. That is miserable damage. You can go right back to it now. Uh, let's Earthquake here. They're probably going right back to Sloking if I were them. I don't think we even kill. I should actually totally be EV'd so that I get boost to my uh, attack instead of defenses here. So if I go minus... Yeah, I've totally screwed the pooch on the stack attack set. Except we do live a Ficious Rens thanks to the reverse Trick Room. Too little too late though. That's going to be the game there. Um... Yeah, there's no win anymore. GG. I could have done more if I had a better stack attack. If we got the speed boost, we might have killed the Dracovish. And then from there, we might have done something more. So that's one of those cases where um, kind of a tangent on what I brought up in my... Uh, if they swapped out for no reason, we could win. <laughs> that's a tangent what I brought up in my, my luck video is I'm not going to blame myself for having bad luck on, the mod, on this matchup here because I, I made two critical mistakes. I didn't get webs up, which was... Absolutely huge. I should have sacked Titar instantly that her Shifu would be a much better matchup. And second of all, the stack attack was built completely wrong. Uh, I'm going, this is why I so often rely on Smogon. I need the beast boost. Boost. Offensive trick room. There we go. And then, yeah. And so the way this works is that we're IB in such a way that we get the attack boost uh, off of our speed instead of anything else. And Shuka has the damage from a super effective ground attack. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I'll give it a shot. Why not? We'll give it. We'll, we'll, we'll run with it. Actually, no. I do want air balloon on this team in case like a guard chomp swaps in. I want to swap back out. So, yeah, stone edge over body press, attack beast boost. You know, if I got up up webs there, I actually thought we had a chance there. So that's actually a good shot as far as our team goes. Is that I made such obvious and easy to point at flaws in my play there. So we'll bring it back here. Uh, gotta end the live on a win. You have to. Have to. <laughs> Rock. You know, I, I actually don't mind Rock. I, I enjoy it. As I said in my last live, I used to think it was the worst ever. I thought it was terrible. I actually, once I kind of got it, once I kind of figured it out and it clicked with me, I had a lot of success with it. I really enjoy it myself. I don't think it's like a top, you know, dominating the tiers uh, offensive thing, but I like it's got a good matchup versus flying. That's very fun. Uh, I like that it's, it almost feels like it does what Bug does with its webs a little bit better. Because if I had to compare Titar and, you know, some of these rock type Pokemon like Terrakion versus Volcarona, Buzzswole, and Scizor, I don't think it's that unfavorable of a comparison. Uh, so I, I I do enjoy it. It seems like I'm just like gassing up every single type, which I do because I do think it's important that like regardless of what type you like, that you do have viability and there are options and there are strong suits and like play styles to learn. But I will admit that there is some discrepancy between some. Like I don't think that rock is always gonna be the same threat as steel. I'll admit that much. I'll give you guys that much. But still, I think it's I think it's good. It can hang. If you if you are losing games, it's probably not because you are a rock player, is what I like to think of it. It's it's kind of like in Super Smash Bros. Melee, uh, there's a player called Axe who uses a mid-tier Pokemon called Pikachu. Like, call it Pikachu. You all know who Pikachu is, obviously. <laughs> but he uses Pikachu, who is, like, pretty mid-tier at best. And he's always been a top player. And he's never John with his character. He always says that, you know, and John, for the record, means using excuses. And he's always said, like, I know I can win these matchups. It's me that's not good enough. It's, P it's, it's not that Pikachu isn't good enough. It's me that isn't good enough, right? And he still plays a really, really good Falco, who's a top-tier character. And he has similar results, right? So, you know... If you're playing perfectly, then you can complain about your character. Otherwise, I don't know. Uh, so here's a pretty balanced-ish. Again, I, I find the, the addition of Grimstarl and Mandibuzzes on these teams odd, in my opinion, because it's like, should, should it get off the pot? Are you running, you know, a balanced defog team with pivots and stuff like that, bulky offense? Or are you running screen offense, right? That's my personal beef. Uh, but let's go for a shuckle here. We got Mental Herbs, so they can't taunt us at all. 
Uh, I can even encore them on the taunt and then go to someone else, but I just want my sticky webs. I'm a simple guy here. Uh, for sure, I'm gonna go for that. Do they even have a rocker? Maybe Bisharp. There's the mental herb there. Uh, always a question of if they go for a second taunt. I'm just gonna knock off and kind of split the difference there so that they can't get a, several turns of uh, uh, screens. It'll definitely reduce the effectiveness of the screens there. And then I can go to my stack attack is actually looking really good right now. That good old gyro ball. And Thunder Wave is one of the only Pokemon here that I could go to that doesn't really suffer from Thunder Wave. Doesn't care about anything. Is there any ground type moves I would want to swap into with Air Balloon? Not really. So yeah, I'm going to go to it right now. They go to Mandibuzz. Uh, I can Stone Edge here and really do a number on you, Mandibuzz. Do you really want to defog when I've still got a full health shuckle? You really do. You're going to sack your Mandibuzz. Okay. Only takes 34%. So that means I can Trick Room here. Uh, I'm expecting a U-turn so they can pop my balloon. They kind of can go for that bit of greed there. And here comes Titar. Uh, we are Air Balloon, so we've got nothing to fear here. Gyro Ball will be an easy 2 KO for us. Uh, in this matchup against Mono Dark, of course I wish... Oh, it actually Oko is awesome. In this matchup against Mono Dark, of course I still wish I'd kept the body press. But Gyro Ball did the job, clearly. It's just so, so slow. Grimmsnarl comes in. Set up a, probably a Suicide Reflect here. Uh, but that's great. It's going to die. We're going to get two boosts up. Uh, this reflects only for five turns so that uh, taunt or knockoff earlier totally paid off. And here's Mandibuzz of all mons. Uh, I think Gyro Ball will kill. I don't think I have to risk a Stone Edge. Yeah, great. Actually, kind of low on Gyro Ball PP. We're kind of sweeping a little bit, a little bit too nice here with the Gyro Ball. I don't know. We're, is it just, are we, are we running out of PP here? Ooh, I don't, I don't know about this. This is getting a little bit dicey. I've got, I got, I'm attacking too well right now. Gyro Ball again. That's the only move I know. I only know one move. It's Gyro Ball. <laughs> They're going to forfeit. GG to our opponent. They're going to hop out after the Mono Dark was used. Let's get one more win. Let's just get a nice win to close out the game here against Mono Dragon. A nice neutral matchup. I love to see it. Super classic Mono Dragon. Actually, I can almost guarantee I know what almost all these sets are. Uh, but that's fine. It's effective. It's going to get the job done. Uh, Defog from Lattice is going to be almost impossible to resist. So it'd be nice if we can get up webs and still preserve our Shuckle. I'm not sure. I really want to get them up regardless here. But... Um, it might be difficult. Also, Draco Bish is a miserable, miserable matchup for us. Don't have much to deal with it. You know, if you're that worried about uh, uh, the Draco Bish, you can use a Cradilly, which gives you a ground resist. It gives you a water immunity. to a great stealth rocker. It's a good pivot in general. Great special defense. All that stuff. So you could use a Cradilly if that was your concern in situations like this. But I would rather just solve the issue with uh, offense if it's me. So yeah, we are going to lose our Shuckle here. I could go to Titar. Am I going to get another chance to get up Sticky Webs right now? I don't think I'm getting webs up against anyone else. So this might as well be my sack. So, fair enough. That's going to happen. We are going to go to Barbacle and go for a Shell Smash. We're only going to get one kill because Ladius will come in afterwards, unfortunately. If we can kill the Dracovish, I'll take it. Uh, please hit Stone Edge. I beg of you. If they sack, they could sack anyone here. If I were them, they, I would because Dracovish is still very good at the situation. But it'll be less scary, at least, as long as uh, webs are up. It's actually not a clear body Dracobish, funnily enough. Or Dracobolt, funnily enough. Garchomp comes in. Uh, so we're going to die to rough skin right here. But I'll take that trade with liquidation here. For sure. Easily. Easily, I will take this. Later. And they're Sash themselves. They're going to get up rocks there. And that will send in for us. as the EQ, actually. Interesting. Um... Heligo or Stack Attacka or Terrakion or Tyranitar all present tantalizing opportunities, dare I say. Uh, as long as Dragalg is on the field, I don't love it. But Naheligo does entice me. So I could do like a Power Gem at plus one spilling. I could be doing so much to Dragalg though. And it can still do stuff for Secure him too. Uh, this might be a good chance for Tyranitar. Tyranitar is actually outsped, fully enough. It's a max speed Garchomp, which is... Very good odds. Uh, so it might be Terrakion's time to shine and just see how well they can break. But that lets in Latias right afterwards. So maybe it is stack attack at time. Maybe. Oh, I'm, I'm very on the fence, gang. Uh, I think I do Terrakion. They go to Latias. Latias should only have four moves. And both are resisted by stack attack. -a. So I think I'll actually have a, a safe swap in there. Or I go T-Tar too, which is like a famous answer to Latias. It's not really built to beat Latias. It's not very spadef, but it would be adequate. I think that's my play. 
I'll do this. I will stone edge because I'm never going to miss this. We, we are never going to miss this, guys. Not in a million years. I'll go for the stone edge. Uh, two up KO, I got to imagine on nearly everyone. Dragalg, great. That really opens up Nihela go if we can hit this and get some good ship. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, I can EQ right now to finish it up with no chance of a miss right there. That's Latias. Latias, I'm sending to my stack. Of t oh, I wanted T-Tar there, actually. This isn't as good because now I lose my... Okay, well, they're going to do this. Uh, they're choice locked. So now I, I trick room as they go to Reykovich, who probably lives one stone edge here. But I still need the trick room as long as those webs are gone. Yeah, I definitely need it because I won't kill here. But whoever goes next is going to need these, this trick room, which actually might be Titar. Titar, I talked about it when I built the team, but uh, in a situation like this, it's going to pop off with the trick room, even though it's max speed. So I actually just really want Chip on Dracovish more than anything else. Can I EQ and then still get the kill with Tyranitar Crunch? I think we just got to hit Stone Edges, gang. Let's just hit some Stone Edges. We live this one, though. Yes. Please. I beg you. I mean, we could have actually killed Dracovish if we hit that one. If I had EQ'd. But that's fine. Because now Titar comes in and he's looking poised. My guy's, my guy's looking hungry. Titar's hungry for a kill right now. Going for that. Guaranteed sending in their Garchomp right now. They got to cure him. Excuse me? I mean, Garchomp does have a good matchup, actually. But and they go to Latias now. Huh? Okay. Okay. I kind of messed with this. I think I lived this one EQ, though. Nope. Shows what I know. And um, Heligo outspeeds. Terrakion outspeeds. Hell yeah. I think we're in a good spot. I think we take home a dub to finish off the live right here. Bit of a long one. Unless uh, Terrakion absolutely disappoints me. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I had a moment of panic. So, yes. Okay. Kind of a mixed bag there. But we do come up with another win to finish the uh, rock showcase there. Very fun. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. I'm counting every vote. I know I screwed over fighting that one time. I still apologize for that, but they're still in the running. You're still going to see them at some point. I just had to delay it a little bit to get things ready for that Mono Rock TED Talk I have planned. But still, in the meantime, whoever gets the most votes is going to show up next. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for the likes and subscriptions as well. Thank you for the comments. Also appreciated. I'll catch you next time. Take it easy, everyone.